What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm reviewing the brand new Adidas Ultra Boost Mid Prototype. Thanks so much for tuning in today, make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't yet and want to see more reviews just like this one. Also make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at RealSethFowler, but with all that out of the way, let's get into it. Over the last couple years, the Ultra Boost and its many variants have been extremely popular shoes. We've had yearly updates on the core line of Ultra Boost, but some of the more obscure models like the Ultra Boost Mid have stayed pretty much the same since they first released. Yes, there's a trail version, but that's technically a different sneaker than the regular Ultra Boost Mid. The first Ultra Boost Mid to get a public release was the Ronnie Fied Kid. Ultra Boost Mid back there on the shelf. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember it and the multicolor upper. And actually, thinking back, a lot of the Ultra Boost Mid colorways have been pretty crazy. But I think we've got a colorway that officially takes the cake as the craziest colorway on an Ultra Boost Mid, the Ultra Boost Mid prototype. When you first see this shoe, it like hits your retinas and you're like, what the hell just happened? And then you realize, oh, it's an Ultra Boost. And wow, that's a bright color. So starting off with a little background behind the design of the sneaker. This, like most Ultra Boost mids, is a consortium Adidas release. However, it's not in collaboration with any other brand. To my knowledge, this is just a purely Adidas designed sneaker. And the whole design intent behind the shoe was to give it sort of a prototype vibe. And that's one of the reasons it's called the prototype. So while both the right shoe and left shoe have similar colorways, there are different materials used on different areas of the shoe. And there's alternating like blues and grays in different areas. I'll get more into that in a minute. But one of the biggest tip offs that this was supposed to look like a prototype style sneaker was that they added these sort of fake sample tags on each shoe. It's nine o'clock at night, why is there an ice cream truck? I don't, the hell? I'm not exactly sure why they did that. I don't really mind it because it's just kind of a piece of packaging that you take off when you first take out the shoes. These aren't something like the off-white zip tie where you can actually leave them on the shoe and wear them around. This is just something that you actually just have in the box. They have the factory name on them, which is YYA. They have the season, which is spring, summer 17, which maybe these were supposed to release last year, or maybe that's just when they were getting prototyped. I'm not sure. Stage type pullover, and then the last and the last number, product name, Ultra Boost Mid and then the colorway, and then at the very bottom, the supposed date that this tag was on the sneaker, which is July 7th, 2016. So it's possible that these sample tags are actually based on real sample tags that were on this shoe, or maybe just the Ultra Boost Mid in general. Moving into the actual sneaker itself, you've got a one-piece booty construction that is primarily covered in this lime neon green prime knit. If you don't like lime green or neon green, you're definitely not gonna like this shoe, and you probably didn't even click on this video, because why would you if you didn't like the way the shoe looked? But regardless, this is a very bright and out there color. There's no getting around it. You'll definitely be noticed when you're in this shoe, which could be a good thing, could be a bad thing, depending on your situation. Honestly, I'm still not sure how I feel about this color. Um, I think I like it, because I like the sort of vibe behind the shoe. I kinda wish that it was maybe like gray, like something simple. But that's just my personal taste. You guys may prefer something else. Again, this is supposed to be a prototype shoe, so it's supposed to look crazy. It's supposed to look like something that was kind of cobbled together. So I get the design intent behind it, but damn, this is bright. The Prime Knit is stretchy, as you'd expect. However, there isn't any ventilation holes, just like every other Ultra Boost Mid. And based on the thickness of the Prime Knit, the shoe definitely seems more like a winter-fall sneaker, so it's kind of interesting that they're releasing it like right before summer. Around the edge of the toe, you've got this piece of sort of neutral gray suede that acts as a mudguard. On the left shoe, the color of the suede is switched out for dark navy, and that's sort of the repeating theme that you'll find on this pair of sneakers. Any accent that's gray on the right side is usually dark navy on the left side, and vice versa. Moving up the shoe, you've got two more hits of suede around the eyelets. Again, and I'm sure you guys will get tired of me saying this, but on the right shoe it's gray and on the left shoe it's dark navy. Weaving through the eyelets you've got your flat white laces that are white on both sides of the pair. Just below that on only the right shoe you've got these dark navy leather adidas three stripes. And this is where it gets kind of interesting because on the left shoe while you don't have dark navy accents and instead you have white accents, the three stripes aren't actually leather panels like they are on the right shoe, instead they're just these painted lines. And that was the one part that kind of bugged me because it just doesn't feel as premium. I don't personally have a problem with the color changing from shoe to shoe, I think that's kind of cool, I like that mismatched look. However, the fact that they used a completely different material, and it seems like the only place on the shoe where they used a different material, it just doesn't go together too well. For example, and I'm sure some of you guys knew I was going to use this for a reference at some point, the pairs of off-white sneakers. They all look like prototype sneakers, however, the right shoe and the left shoe are just mirrored images of each other. So the lateral side of the shoe will be one thing, and the medial side will be something different, and I'm totally cool with that because the outside of the sneakers look the same, the inside of the sneakers look the same. Even though it's mirrored, it still matches. But with this, because they completely removed the leather material from one shoe, 
it just doesn't seem to really fit well together. Going off the off-white example again, if they had done leather on the outside of both sneakers and then painted the inside or vice versa, that would have been fine. But as it is, it just doesn't really look right together. To be fair, it's not that big of a deal and it shouldn't be the reason you don't buy or buy this pair of sneakers, but it's something that I kind of wish had been done differently. Continuing up the shoe, you get to this really thick, lighter blue ankle collar. The color of the ankle collar stays the same on both sides of the sneaker. However, the color of the consortium tag of course changes. Dark navy on the right side, gray on the left side. Moving inside the sneaker, you've got a lime green sock liner. And of course, as you've come to expect by now, the insole of each shoe is different. The left shoe has a dark navy insole with the consortium logo on the heel. And then the right shoe has the lighter blue insole with consortium written across it repeatedly. As for fit, the Ultra Boost Mid prototype fits pretty much true to size. I've had a bunch of pairs of Ultra Boost Mids in tons of different sizes. I've had sizes that were too small, sizes that were too big, sizes that were just right. And of course, as you should expect, the shoe that I got in my true size did in fact fit true to size. As we've come to learn over the last couple years, that's not always the case with Adidas sneakers. However, with the Ultra Boost Mid, you should be fine going true to size. Continuing back on the shoe on both sides, you get to a dark navy TPU heel counter. This time around, the Ultra Boost text comes in black and silver. And then moving to the heel of the sneaker, you get to your pull tab running down the center. On the right shoe, it's gray. On the left shoe, it's dark navy. Moving down the shoe, you get to the super comfortable cloud-like boost midsole. And then finally getting to the bottom of the sneaker, you get to this black continental webbed outsole. Overall, the Adidas Ultra Boost Mid prototype is a good shoe. I love the Ultra Boost Mid Silhouette. I think it's an extremely comfortable shoe. I think the silhouette shape is beautiful. This colorway, on the other hand, I'm warming up to, I guess, but I'm not in love with it. It's definitely out there. I'm not sure at all what I'd wear this with, but I think it's a good looking shoe overall. And before I forget, shout out to Langston at Ubik. He's an awesome employee and it's an awesome store. And every time I go there, it's always great to see him. It's always great to see the team there. Ubik is probably my favorite sneaker store in Philly. Not probably, it is my favorite sneaker store in Philly. Um, it's always a good experience, so definitely check it out. Now that we've got the review out of the way, let's put these guys on feet and see how they look. I'd love to know your thoughts on this crazy loud Ultra Boost Mid and whether it's something that you'd want to pick up for yourself. So of course make sure to leave those comments in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.